In this tutorial, we will be downloading, installing, and setting up Tomcat 9 on Windows 10. We will visit the Tomcat 9 release downloads page where we will choose the 64 bit zip file to download and we will unzip it into our local C drive. And then we will run Tomcat 9 from the command line. And we will confirm that we have set up Tomcat correctly through the Tomcat administration web page. We will break this process down into the following prerequisites and steps. First, we need to make sure that we are using Java 8 or higher and we will be using OpenJDK 11. We will add the installed Tomcat bin directory to our path environment variable. We will set the Tomcat Catalina home environment variable and we will be running the command line batch scripts startup.bat and shutdown.bat to start and stop our Tomcat. And then we will set up the Tomcat administration user through Tomcat's web administration interface. Here we are on the Tomcat 9 downloads page and we will select the 64-bit Windows zip, show in folder, right click and extract all and we extract all into the C drive. And looking at our C drive, we have installed it. And now we have to add our Tomcat bin drive to our environment path variable. We'll go to environment variables, path. Actually, we'll have to use the one down here, path. We'll add a new one. Say OK and OK. Now we'll go to the DOS command prompt, run as administrator, and we'll echo the path. And we see we have successfully added it to our path. Now we'll go back to our environment variables and update the Catalina home environment variable. Set it to the latest Tomcat 9 version. Start up another DOS prompt. And that looks good. So now we'll run Tomcat from the command line. And we'll run the startup.bat script. We've got server startup. So let's go to the browser. And we have successfully launched Tomcat 9 and we can see its user interface. Let's go to our Tomcat manager app and we'll see a pop-up with a request for admin username and password. And we do not have that. And that means we will have to go back to our Tomcat configuration files and configure a valid username and password for the Tomcat administrator. Let's select cancel and we'll see the helpful 401 unauthorized page. And it tells us that we need to update this configuration file with username and password values. So we will have a look at that.
we follow along with the guided documentation here. Save it. Well, we see we've automatically reloaded that. So let's see if it works now. Admin secret. And there it is. We have access to the administration user interface in Tomcat. And that concludes this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.